Hey, what's up? This is going to be a quick video tutorial on how to create torn paper in Photoshop. So, as you can see, this is what we're going to end up with. And, yeah, let's get started. So, first thing I'm going to do is create a new document. 1280 by 720 is fine. And I'm not going to go ahead and change this background colour to a slightly darker colour. So, just so I can see the paper better. So select your colour, click Alt Backspace, and that sets your layer you selected to your foreground colour. And the next thing I'm going to do is create a new layer. So in this layer, I'm going to go and get your rectangle marquee tool and draw out your sheet of paper. Seeing as my background colour is already white, I'm going to click Control Backspace to set that selection to white. Now I can go ahead and click Ctrl D to deselect. And now, using your lasso tool located underneath the marquee tool, you're going to draw your raggedy line. This is where your tail will be, so just put it wherever you need it. Once you have that selected, you're going to go ahead and delete that and click Ctrl D to deselect. So now, what you're going to do is you're going to give it this the rough line as if it was torn. So the way you do that is by first selecting your pen tool and next thing you need to do is you need to go along the bottom edge of your sheet roughly in line, it doesn't have to be exactly on the line alright so now I've done that I'm going to go and select my brush tool and then you want to select brush type So what you want to select is this 24 pixel spatter. So once you've selected that, you're going to click on this little icon up here, which will give you your brush presets. You're going to tick your shape dynamic and set size jitter to 100%, as well as angle jitter and roundness jitter to 50%, minimum roundness up to 100 Alright, so next thing you're going to do is you're going to reselect your pen tool and right click on your path. Next thing you do is click stroke path and then click OK. And you'll see that the path has been stroked with the brush that we have just set. Different sizes of paper may require a different brush size. So if you made a slightly larger one, you may wish to go onto your brush settings, select that brush for just Change the style slightly, but I'm going to see that in a moment. And so I want to delete this little path I created. Just go back into your pen tool, right click on the path, and click delete path. So the next thing you want to do is I'm going to give it some paper texture. So you're going to right click on that layer, click on blending options and select pattern overlay and if you click on your pattern box and click on this door click on this setting symbol and go ahead and click on grayscale paper just click OK and next thing you're going to do is you're going to go and select this little this lined paper here Alright, so the next thing I want to do is I want to get rid of these bits down here on each side of the paper. And I'll just show you what I mean by that. If I scroll down to you, you can see that there's bits sticking out. So the way to get rid of them around there is by, first of all, selecting the inside of my paper. Now I'm going to go right click on it and select inverse. And then if I go ahead and hit delete, it'll delete everything in this outer section. You click Ctrl D to deselect and that bit there is done. So the next thing I want to do is I want to right click on my layer and click rasterize layer style. This will merge this will merge them. Um, 
the pattern onto onto the paper. So the next thing I want to do is right click blending options. Then I want to select drop shadow. And then I'm just going to click OK. And now what we want to do is we want to right click on our effects tab. Then click on create layer. Just click OK. This message shows up. And what this does is it puts the drop shadow in a separate layer. What this will allow us to do is allow us to warp it at different at different um, different sizes. So the way to make our paper curved at the bottom is by first of all we're going to select our paper and we're going to click Control T to do free transform. Another way shortcut for just a shortcut for this free transform. So once you click Control T, you want to right click and hit Warp. Now you can select the bottom right corner. Here, you know, now you can select the bottom right corner and just drag up. All right, and once you're done, just gonna go ahead and hit Enter. Now you can see that our shadow isn't correctly. Well, it doesn't look right, does it? Let's just go and warp our shadow quickly. Go and select your shadow layer, hit Control T, right click, and select Warp. Once you and warp this bottom corner up a bit. Hit enter once you've done, and I think that I've still got this sh this uh, drop shadow a bit too dark. So I'm gonna hit it, and then I hit turn the opacity down a bit, right around 60 looks right. So actually, one more thing I'm gonna do quickly. I'm gonna warp this top bit in so it looks like the top of the paper is actually pressed on too my background so select your set your shadow again we transform control T warp it and drag that bit in a bit just drag each side in a bit hit enter and now it does look like that bit's actually on the background itself so there you have it